Ah, the Choose Your Own Adventure Story. A true relic of the 80s. I don't know about you guys, but I read a ton of these things growing up as a kid. They really gave you the idea that you were the hero, that you had agency, that your decisions really impacted where the story went. And it was empowering and it was awesome. Flash forward 40 years later, and we've got GPT, these large language models that knock this genre type out of the park. It really supercharges these narrative stories. And hi guys, I'm Michael from Glowbox. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to craft the perfect prompt to speak to GPT to move you along through these incredibly immersive interactive stories. Let's get started. All right, here we are in uh, GPT Plus, and this is GPT-4. I do spend $20 a month for this and uh, it really does make a difference in terms of the quality of prose and the narrative that it creates. I think it's more nuanced and fleshed out. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyway, so we're gonna go through the prompt right now. I've got it pasted in here and I'm going to just do this. We're doing it live for science here and uh, let's uh, see what it gives us. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go, I'm gonna let it answer, but I'm gonna quickly go through the prompt that I created, okay? for GPT, instructions for GPT. Uh, you are facilitating a choose your own adventure experience for a user. The narrative should be rich, detailed, descriptive, and paced in a manner that allows the world to unfold gradually. Now this is important I've noticed because when I've done this before with my other tests, the GPT seems to want to throw you like a major curveball or plot point immediately. And it's like, nah, 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 I want things to breathe. And I, you'll see me reiterate that point a couple of times. Step-by-step uh, -step initiation. So this is where you're going to, the reader, the user reader is going to start answering some questions that help GPT have an idea of what kind of story you want. It's just a quick and fast way to get the reader into the world they kind of want to live. And so GPT can go ham with it. So I'm not going to read all these out, but basically, uh, um, you know, what's your name? Are you a man or a woman? How old are you? Uh, what kind of genre do you want? Fantasy, mystery, sci-fi. Um, what period would you like? And the way this formula you'll see is set up is it, it says, you know, um, after gathering this, you know, go to the next question saying, uh, sometimes it'll give you, if you don't do this in this, this wording, it'll make you, it'll give you all of them and say, answer me all this. But in this way, you can answer one, answer the next. So it's like filling out a form as you go live. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so narrative instructions here, right? Following the completion of the initiation process, start the adventure by immersing the reader in the environment using sensory details and rich descriptions. Again, I'm telling it, hey, take your time, be descriptive, okay? Dedicate time to portray the daily life of the protagonist, the user, the reader, before unveiling the primary plot, letting the user engage with the world and its characters. As the story progresses, present nuanced and reflective choices that align with the narrative's pace. Here's where the magic is. Offer three predefined choices and a fourth option for a custom user input. Now this is the magic sauce that we never had as kids growing up, of course. I can say what I want to any character. I can do what I want and, and um, uh, Let's see, adapt the story based on their choices, ensuring continuity and depth, and it does work. Give the reader choices to make every 150, 200 words. That's kind of just letting you know, here's how I want the chunks to go. All right, craft the narrative, ensuring it is immersive, evocative, and allows the user to fully engage with the created world. Let's go live here, all right? Um, let's embark on this adventure together. So to begin your journey, what is your name? Note, for this chooser and adventure, I'll proceed based on your earlier provided name, Michael, unless you'd like to... Okay, so I've done a test. I've been caught. But you know what we're going to do? We're Elvis. We're Elvis. Great choice, Elvis. Are you a man or a woman? I'll be a man this time. Let's see. Uh, how old are you? I'm going to say... I'm going to lie, and I'm just going to say just a cool 34. You know what I mean? Got it, Elvis, a 34-year-old man. Step four, what genre would you like the story to be in? Kayla, what genre? Let's do mystery. Should be fun. 
Okay, mystery it is. What time period would you like your story to be set in medieval Victorian? Let's do, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to flip it. Near future. <clears throat> All right. Understood. A mystery set in the near future. If you have any plot specific points, whatever themes you'd like to act, uh, this is the part where you can put in, if you have an idea of, oh, I want to do this. I want to be this. I want to try this. This is where you put it in and build your own story. Or you can say, go ham. You can say, go crazy, do what you want. But I'm going to say, uh, I'm a detective uh, in search, uh, ooh, detective hired to find a missing girl. Well, it's a woman. Her sister hired me to find her. Set in New England. Um, uh, add Lovecraftian elements. <clears throat> Got it. Let's delve into a Lovecraftian mystery in the near future New England. Woo! Let's try this out. See what it says. The quiet town of Ravensbrook, nestled within the secluded forest of New England, had never known much disturbance. In the near future, technological advancements blended seamlessly with the historic charm of the region. Hmm, interesting. Quaint cottages were equipped with state-of-the-art security systems, and drones hovered slightly overhead, delivering goods to the townsfolk. Elvis, a seasoned detective, nice, I'm seasoned, of 34, you've been hired to solve, uh, oh, okay, it's you. You've been hired to solve a particular case that has sent ripples of unease through Ravensbrook. Nice. Amelia Harrow, nice Lovecraft name, had gone missing, and her distressed sister Clara reached out to you for help. Rumors whispering of Amelia getting too involved in researching ancient tomes and forbidden rituals that have their roots buried deep within the town's history. This is great. This is very Lovecrafty and detective-y. A bit noir-y. Your day begins as you step out of your self-driving car. Very nice. The warm cobblestone streets of Ravensbrook underfoot. Nice juxtaposition of new and old. The air is thick with tension and an unplaceable sense of dread pervades. You've already decided on a course of action for the day. Choice one, visit Amelia's home hoping to find any clues to her mysterious disappearance. Two, head to the town's library, renowned for its collection of rare and ancient manuscripts. Three, meet with Clara for a detailed conversation about her sister's recent activities. Or four, the magic sauce, provide whatever I want myself. Um, we're gonna give it its first choice itself to see what GPT can do on. What do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? I kind of want to see how it describes the library. <clears throat> Let's head there. So you just have to hit two. Head to the town's library. Okay. The towering structure of the Ravensbrook Library seems out of place amidst the rustic surroundings, a relic from another time. The library's neo-Gothic architecture stood as a testament to the town's rich and enigmatic history. I feel like it's a bit repeaty there with the style up here or something. I don't know, but it's still nice. Upon entering, the library is dimly lit only by soft, luminescent lights that come to life as you walk past, casting eerie shadows that seem to dance and whisper secrets of their own. <laughs> nice. Rows upon rows of shells house ancient tomes, their leather-bound spines hinting at the knowledge trapped within. In the heart of the library, the elderly library, Miss Abigail, a gaunt figure, I love using the word gaunt, especially in Lovecraftian stuff, with piercing blue eyes, looks up from her desk, sensing your intent. Looking for something, Detective Elvis? Her voice, frail but sharp, resonates within the vastness of the library. <laughs> You explain the reason for your visit, and she nods, leading you to a secluded section. Amelia was here often, she whispers, pointing to a desk littered with scrolls and old books. On the desk, a particular book stands out, its cover etched with esoteric symbols. It's titled The Whispers of Ravenbrook. Very nice. Before you can delve into the book, Choice one, engage Miss Abigail in conversation about Amelia. You know, choice, uh, ex the whispers of Ravenbrook. Any, and any notes Amelia might have left behind. Investigate the rest of the library. Any signs Amelia provide? I want to provide one. Um, now, here's the thing. You can really, 
I, I advise you take it seriously because you can quickly throw a monkey wrench in the whole story if you like break character and do something silly. It might because it always remembers. So you might screw up the narrative. If you want to role play and play these stories seriously, I recommend you kind of play it seriously. Um, let's see. Ask. You can even do say um, exactly what you want. Um, Miss Abigail, what did you know about uh, Amelia? Oh, this is new. This is live. This is for science. It's asking you which response do you prefer? This is actually a thing about GPT right now that is not behooven. I don't think that's a word. Maybe it is to the style that we're trying to go for right now. How interesting. Okay. Wow. It, it's, it's so powerful. Select response. Oh my God. I'm not even going to, let's not read it. Let's just go. Okay. We're going with choice one here. Engage Miss Abigail in conversation, right? You lock eyes with the elderly librarian and ask with sincerity, Miss Abigail, what did you know about Amelia? Was there anything peculiar you noticed during her visits? Look, it, it even expanded upon my question. Miss Abigail hesitates, her gaze drifting to the ornate book before returning to meet yours. Amelia, she begins, was always a curious soul. She was drawn to the old legends of Ravenbrook like a moth to the flame. I'm not going to keep going on forever to make this a very long video. I am showing you that with prompts like this, GPT can create the most amazing choose your own adventure books, just amazing choose your own adventure stories on the fly. Like you can just sit home and enjoy this constantly. And it's, it's super fun to play around with different formulas and mix it up because GPT can handle it. It's crazy. And, uh, briefly, I want to make as a footnote, uh, I uh, don't want to make this controversial about LLMs and job taking and negative stuff and existential threats uh, or, or anything like that. This is just for the fun of creating choose your own adventure stories for yourself at home. Uh, some innocent fun and it's just amazing how far we've come in like 40 years with this kind of storytelling. Anyway, thanks a lot for stopping by in this video, guys, and uh, hit like and subscribe if you'd like. Uh, I'll see you down the road.